Hello, everybody. I'm Derek Tebbers. Welcome to Truckin' Saturday. We're here in your truck simulator. Ooh, pretty Christmas tree. Yes, we're recording before Christmas because because I'm very, very busy. And so if you want videos, I have to record them. Uh, a few words of note. First, I am not using a Logitech G27. I literally threw that piece of crap out of my office into the floor outside. Uh, I would throw it out the window, except for it's cold outside and I would break my window. Uh, I hate that Logitech G27. It is the most spotty piece of crap I have ever dealt with. Uh, it's constantly disconnecting. In the middle of driving, just disconnects for no reason whatsoever. And their solutions are a pile of garbage. So I've decided I'm going back to an old trusty controller. Well, not old trusty. Um, I'm using a controller that I got with my Shield tablet. Because, hey, if, uh, if uh, Logitech can't build a good piece of equipment, maybe NVIDIA can. Oh, wait, they made really good graphics cards. Hmm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so that's that. The other thing is we are going to play this a little bit differently than I played before. First of all, the speed limiter is on. Haha, -ha, we are only going to go so much speed. We have 2% damage because while I was recording the first time with the G27, the G27 quit on a corner and I went barreling off the corner at 90 kilometers an hour and uh, did damage to my truck. And at that point, I threw my headphones down, ripped the G27 off my table, and threw it out the door. So there you go. Ah, you're not going to see that video because there, there were words said. Uh, so we're going to uh, do something a little bit different. First, we're going to choose a job because that would be a smart thing to do, I would think. We are in Luxembourg at our corporate headquarters. So we can go to Wasserstas in Switzerland, Sweden. Uh, Reykjavik. We can take carrots to Reykjavik. Sounds like a great thing to do. Uh, iron pipes to Tartu, smoked eel to Tallinn, uh, digger to Modena, Poznan, Birmingham tours, London, Amsterdam, Mets. None of that is fun. So it looks like we're probably going to go to Reykjavik, maybe. Yeah, let's go to Reykjavik. Yeah. All right. Get our truck started up, get the volume readjusted. All right, now because of being on the controller instead of the uh, G27, I've got full simple automatic transmission. I don't care anymore. It's, uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about that G27. Now, the other thing we're gonna do is we can't look at them, we don't have GPS and we can't look at a map unless we're parked. We're parked, so where are we going? We're going to LKW, all right. So notice no GPS. Oh, sad pandas. So we have to uh, we have to make two. Nobody coming. Nobody coming. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. It's gonna take some getting used to driving at the uh, at the controller. Honestly, I I literally it was such a pain in the butt to just get things converted off of the controller or off the G27. I just reset everything. So I'm probably gonna be missing some commands or something. I don't know. We'll find out. Turn off. What's that do? No idea what that does. That does. Ah, that's that. Those are wipers. That's good. Mm -hmm. Ah, and that's a horn. Turn the wipers off. There we go. Okay. I wonder what that does. Oh, I bet you that's the cruise control. Okay. All right. Whew. Now we can just kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy driving. Maybe. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go find myself a new steering wheel, I guess. Come on, truck. Let's go. Thank you. Um, and you know what? I'm not necessarily gutted by having to use the controller, honestly. And here's why. To set up a G27 on my desk takes me a good 20 minutes to get it all sorted out. And then to have it constantly go bleh on me was just annoying. But um, yeah, we're going to go to Reykjavik, take that job. Uh, where's our trailer? Oh, you're going to put that trailer all the way over there. Really, guys? Really? fine um to then have it constantly disconnect i thought it was a power supply so i was like all right let me go check the power supply and i kind of played with the power supply and it just it would die sometimes on the when i played with the power supply I just like wiggle the, the cord that goes to the wall or whatever but it wasn't consistent like i was like all right fine you sometimes die when i do that so i'm going to secure you in with some zip ties and some tape because I've done that before. Oop, a little bit more. There we go. Um, and 
it seemed to be okay and then it wasn't and i was like okay now what the what's the problem and so i started searching the internet and logitech said on their forums oh yeah you can only plug your g27 into a usb2 or a usb3 port which is great how the heck am i going to get to where i'm going look at a map you ding dong cheese all right so let's see what is the suggestion the suggestion is going to go north Catch that interchange, keep rolling north until we can't go north anymore, and then get to Ejumlian, and then that will flick us all the way up to Newcastle upon Tiny, and then we'll go up through there, up to Inverness and Thurso. Okay, so we just got to get to there first, the Amsterdam area first. So the most logical way, we're going to exit, we're going to go north, yep, that makes sense. And we're going to get on there and take the very first exit to head north. And we just keep on trucking north. And then we're going to go west. And we're going to go past the Amsterdam exit to get to the Jumenden exit to get out. Okay, that's what we hope to do. Can't look at a map again until we, unless we stop the truck. So the other big problem I had with the G27, which isn't the fault, whoa, let's not do that, uh, which isn't necessarily the fault of the G27, um, was being able to look around with the G27 because you had to go and grab the mouse and wiggle the mouse around. And my mouse is a, is a mouse that goes to sleep when it's left alone for a while. So I'd go and grab the mouse and it wouldn't respond. And I'd have to wiggle the mouse really hard and then it would respond. And that's because the mouse is, a, is not a wired mouse, which is a stupid decision on my part, but whatever. So <clears throat> that caused me problems, no end of problems. If I had a VR setup, then it would probably be okay. Oh, I'm back to the, the whole thing. Um, so Logitech said, oh, the, the problem is you should only be plugged into a USB 2, uh, USB 1.0 or USB 2.0 port. I got a modern computer. I have two USB 2.0 ports, two of them. And they're on the very back of the machine, which isn't someplace that I can get to easily and uh, can't reach with a cord from the G27. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm probably going to just go looking around, seeing if I can find another wheel. Probably going to buy a used wheel or something. I don't know. It's just, it's just irritating. You spend that kind of money for a, a wheel. You expect quality build, but it's the, elect the physical product, I think, is a quality build. The electronics, shoddy crap. Probably all Chinese made. <sighs> okay, enough about that. Uh, we're not going to cut a lot, um, meaning I'm not going to be doing a bunch of jump cuts. I will be cutting some, and the reason I'm going to be cutting some is uh, Euro Truck cannot keep a stable frame rate to save its life, which it never could, so it's not a big surprise here. It's only jumping between 30 and 50, and it doesn't have a frame rate capper on it, so I can't just cap the frame rate on it. Oh, which would be great if I could just cap it at 30 and just leave it at 30. Um, so my audio and video gets out of sync after a while. The other reason is Pro Mods has a issue, I think. They don't seem to acknowledge the issue, and that's fine. I think it's only happening on certain high-spec machines. But when I get to the big interchanges, my game becomes a slideshow for a little bit while it loads that interchange. And unfortunately, once you put Pro Mods in, getting it out and saving your save game, not the easiest task. So there's that. But anyway, we're going to truck on. We're going to hope American Truck Simulator comes, you know, and, and is perfect or something. Um, I doubt it. But we do have a release date for American Truck Simulator. That's good. February 3rd. That is the release date for ATS. 60, huh? 60 frames per second on this. Really? Okay. Um, 
So we have a release date for American Truck Simulator. So we'll be driving in Europe for a little while, but not too long before we jump over to America. Don't expect it in the, like the first weekend. Because I have to record all this stuff well in advance, you know, just kind of <clears throat> mainly because I have a lot of things going on. So I need to kind of keep ahead of the game, sort of, that makes sense. Um, so I have to record stuff ahead of time just so that it's there so you guys have videos to watch. Otherwise, it'd be uh, we'd be going dark a lot. Be unfortunate. But we'll just uh, chill along. Drive in Europe until probably, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess the end of February. It'll probably be that long. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. We'll find out. Ah, anyway, enough about all that crap. Well, it's not all crap. Some of it's, large portion of it was crap. Stupid Elijah check G27. I'm going to retrieve it eventually and poke at it and see if I can figure out. I'm wondering if there's not a short somewhere in that entire unit. So I'll probably pull the shifter and the pedals off and see if it sh if it stops working with just the wheel or if it's something else. And because if I can get just the wheel, well, that actually won't do a heck of a lot for uh, <laughs> for Euro Truck. But if I can get the wheel itself, well, actually, it doesn't matter because I need to actually be in the game. Well, that's going to be a pain in the butt. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Um, yeah. Huh. Now I'm now I'm completely confused about what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right. Yellow light means just caution. Let's slow down slightly, so we don't bruise all of our carrots. Just some of the carrots. Don't want bruised carrots. Uh, Triet is that way. Yay. Anyway, um, so what's going on, people? How was your holiday? Let me know in the comments. My holiday was pretty good. I had two weeks off, and I spent those two weeks recording videos for you. So I really didn't have two weeks off. I had two weeks off from my uh, normal job, if you want to call it that. But I spent most of it recording video. So there's that. Other than that, I didn't have much else on the holidays so far. I mean, I am recording before Christmas, but <laughs> uh, I don't really do the Christmas thing. So my family doesn't really exchange gifts and I don't really exchange gifts with DOS. So, you know, it's just it's just for us. It's just another day, a day to get together with family of that. So not a big presenty thing. Um, where are we heading for? Cruising Kelpen? No, we want to go towards Amsterdam. So I would presume I'm going to have an exit sign up here for Amsterdam. Closeben, Frankfurt? No. Uh, I don't want to go to Frankfurt. I'm going to guess this is the big exit thing. Let's get over and see here. Because if it's a f big... Oh, good gosh. Let's guess that this is where we need to go. Oh my gosh. We're making guesses here. Ooh, good on you, game. You held 30 FPS through the crazy interchange. Oh, I think this is the place. So I think we're going this way. What are we going towards? Nijman, then. Oh, good lord. Breaks. Ooh. Okay. We can turn that off. All right, look at that, we made it. Now we're not going to Liege, so we want to avoid that. Anybody next to us? All right, so we're going towards Nezmond, Venlo, and something. Whatever that is. Ooh, cars. Coming over. I'm bigger than you, so you just get out of my way. All right, so this, in Theory takes us up where we can pick up an Amsterdam thing, maybe. 
Um, oh, I'm afraid I might have taken a bad wrong turn. This is where this this um, this challenge, if you want to call it a challenge, this way of driving gets a little bit more um, row ro reggy. I've made a turn. I'm not sure if I took the right turn, and none of the signs say Amsterdam. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. All right. Well, whatever. So hopefully you enjoyed your holidays. Um, hopefully we'll figure out where we are eventually. I mean, we can't pull over to the side of the road. We got to, you know, oh, here's a parking. Should we pull over in the parking area? Um, no, let's push on. Let's push on. I mean, if we go, maybe I'm trying to think of the map right now. And I think. I think this is the only way to go. I mean, we should be heading north right now. So... Huh. Hmm, I'm thinking we're going to be lost here in a minute, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. <sighs> The best part about the the way the holidays fall, and at least in the U.S. for me anyway, is you, you finish you finish your Christmas holidays, and then right on the back of Christmas holidays you have the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, which is a three day weekend, and then you're done with that, and then you have, then you enter February, which is a short month, but you have President's Day weekend in there, so you got a three day weekend in there. And then March comes. Does March have any holidays? Oh, suddenly I sound like a gibbon, don't I? Um, does March have any holidays? No, it doesn't. I don't believe it does. Yeah, I don't believe March has any holidays. Is it March and April that don't? I don't know, because usually I'm taking time off. <laughs> eh, don't know. March, April, and then May, June. No, there's got to be holidays in there because it wouldn't be that long before you have a holiday. Oh, look, Amsterdam. Yes, we did take a right turn. Yay! We're not going to be lost in the middle of nowhere. Bob! Hey, look, it's Bob. Whoever Bob is. Huh. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like March... April, May. There's got to be a holiday in there that I'm missing. I mean, technically, you should get April Fool's Day off. I'm just thinking. That would be logical. And the Ides of March. That would be good. But no, you don't. Um, President's Day. Huh. I don't even know. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, crap. Um, okay. That was a sign that says we have to go one of two ways. Oh, wait. <laughs> Euro truck has helped us out. We can only go one. All right. That's cool. Well, that's good. Because I was about to freak out. Go, oh, my gosh. Which direction do I go? But it worked out. Okay. Ooh. Hello, friend. Hello, friend Semi. Lori. How are you? Vickelvin in... No, oh, crud. Can't even read that. I know it didn't say Vickelvin, but that's what it looked like to me. Ah, uh, What? What? what uh, okay, let's just assume this is okay. <gasps> Did I take a wrong turn? Did I do a bad? No, wait, wait. The bus is following me. Okay, so either the bus is lost with me, or the bus thinks I know the way, in which case we're both screwed. But the cars came this way, too. Okay, well, maybe it's just a weird bridge that has double bridge? 
I haven't driven much in between. Uh, I haven't driven much in um, the air in the Netherlands. In fact, I've driven none in the Netherlands. Okay, now you want me to merge over. Uh, oh God, dude, don't do that. Woo, yeah. <laughs> Oop, turn that off. Okay, that was weird. Is that a real bridge that has just like a divide in it? And if it does, what does vol mean? I, I assume it was a vol because I would presume that W is pronounced with a V in Dutch as well. I don't know. What a Yeah, I don't know either. Okay, so we're trying to get to Illusion. We got to look for that sign. Let's see. Devner, Hengate, Absford, and. Oh, we want to get that way. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I wanted to give him that sign. Oh, we're going this way. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Almost cut that car off. Oh, oh, are we doing the right thing? Oh, crap, crap, crap. I wasn't even paying attention. Is this the right way? Yeah, this has to be the right way. Because there was no other exits. Right? Yeah. Amsterdam and Absford. Hoevenlaak. Hoevenlaken. Hoevenlaken? Hmm. Utrecht. Zwolot and Hoevenlaken. Okay, so we don't want to take the exit to go back to Hoevenlaken. Nope, we want to go straight. Amsterdam and Hilversum. I'm mispronouncing these so badly. Oh, well. <clears throat> it's okay. Um, yeah, stay in this lane. That takes us to Amsterdam. Yeah, we don't want to take that way because that way we'll go to there. Okay, we're good. We're going to make it. Because we can look at the map once we get into the UK after the ferry ride into Newcastle upon Tyne, we can um, we can look at the map and kind of plot our course through um, through there. We can also check our stats to see how far we are to requiring sleepy time. Oh, but we won't need to because we'll have, we'll be able to sleep on the way to Newcastle upon Tyne. Yes. Okay, looks like we're coming into Amsterdam. Yep, Amsterdam. Facebook, Twitter. Really? Really? Is there a sign that says Amsterdam? Facebook and Twitter. I hope not. Suddenly I have this desire to go look on Twitter to see if Amsterdam is on Twitter. I would presume they are. Parking, fuel, food, and trains. I assume that last thing was trains. 90 or 120. Well, I can't go faster than this, so... Hakenlar. Hakenlar? I assume. Hewitt. I assume Hewitt is exit. Okay, we're on the outskirts. We must be on the outskirts of Amsterdam, kind of like the the suburbs or, or tech center area. Oh, look, it's Bob again. Hey, Bob, you're following us around, huh? Sweet. There's got to be a story to that Bob thing. All right, I saw the sign for 70 kilometers an hour. All right, Amsterdam, Grutenin, Grutengen. No, we don't want that. So we're gonna to wanna to be in this lane. Does this force me to exit? Rotterdam and Brussels, yes, it does, okay. All right, yeah, we wanna go Rotterdam, Brussels. Right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I hope so. Otherwise, we're going to be going the wrong way. Well, do not enter. What? Oh, <laughs> end of speed limit. That's what that means. I bet you. Bad Hovendop. Bad Hovendop. Okay. Let's, um, this is, this is going to be the struggle of this thing because, oh, look, uh, Ismulden, Ismulden, yay! We did the right thing. This is gonna be the struggle with this because I'm a whole time I'm gonna be questioning myself. It'd be a little bit different when we're driving American Truck Simulator if we turn off a, if they allow you to turn off a GPS. Because I mean, in the U.S., everything is by interstate junctions, you know. So you're gonna be like, oh look, we're tired. Well, how about that? 
um, you know, you're like, oh, okay, I need to take I-5 down to um, I-70, which I don't believe I-5 and I-70 actually meet, but you get my point. But you navigate based on the interstates. Go car. Go car. Jeez. Gibbon. Gibbon. Is is Milden. Yay. All right, so we should be able to make it to Ilzmulden in time to sleep on the ferry without a problem. Then we'll get to the UK, to Newcastle upon Tiny, and we'll figure out how to get through to wherever. Hey, look, Bob again. Yay, Bob. Who is Bob? Does anybody know who Bob is? Bob. <sighs> What about Bob? Um, let's see here. Ah, Ilzmulden. We're going to turn left. I bet you we're going to follow this semi up in front of us. That is probably what's going to go down here. 70, huh? Well, I'll hit the brakes. 50 even. Wow. Oh, nope, nope. We weren't going to follow that semi. Ah, you could have faked me out there, pal. Ooh, do I go? I guess I go because you're all stopped. If you're stopped, I assume I go. That's how it's going to work. Yes, Ilzmulden. I know, pronounced wrong. I'm sorry. Is Ilzmulden, or however you pronounce this, is this a, a freight only port or is this like a common passenger port? I'd assume that's a long journey up to Newcastle upon Tyne. I know it's Newcastle upon Tyne. Everybody who's put that in the comments, you can stop now. I do it because I find it funny. If you don't find it funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not really. I could care less. All right. This is this is longer than I thought on the way to, to the little thing. Yes, I know you're tired. Hush, dude. All right. Here we are. The Felsen Terminal... You're taking too long, so I'm just going to go, okay? Okay. Yeah, the Felison ter Terminal. Ter 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 terminal. There we go. I said the words. I made the words come out of my face. Yay. Er View the possible traveling destinations. We are going to Newcastle upon Tiny. 16 hours and 30 minutes. Wow. Uh. 